Hi guys, so today I'll be sharing with you a quick recipe that you and your family can be involved in. What I'll be making today is fish wraps. So what you need is fish, your wraps, and with the fish, what it doesn't matter what kind of fish you get. I always want something that's a bit cheaper for me. So I'm using Bassa fillets. You can find this in Coles, Aldi, Woolworths, anywhere you can find them. They're under $10 a kilo, so it's always great. With the wraps, I went for something a bit colorful, um, still pretty cheap. And also the benefit or the advantages of this is that the wrap is already flavored. This one is lime and chili, which is going to add a bit more flavor to my dish. I'm going to add a salad using lettuce, red onion, carrots, as well as some halloumi. So let's get going. So now we have our oil going. We are going to start cooking off the fish. So my fish has been marinating in zumi sauce, which is now my go-to for marinating. You're more than welcome to use whatever you like. So just make sure that you don't crowd your pan with the fish because you don't want it to, I guess, get a bit soggy. You want to get that bit of golden color on the fish. So if you put a little bit less in the pan, it will achieve that golden color. And also because a butter fillet a bit on the thinner side, they cook a little bit faster. So just keep an eye on them to make sure you don't overcook them. So the fish has been cooking for about five minutes. I've been watching it closely because I don't want it to break apart, but at the same time, it doesn't matter if it breaks apart because it's going to go in a wrap. So I'm going to put it in a bowl. Also keeping in mind that because it's still, it's still hot, it'll continue cooking a little bit. So it looks so good. I've already seasoned um, the fish while it was marinating, but if we need to add a little bit more, we will do so. I'm going to use the same pan to fry off my halloumi because I also want to get the, those flavors that I use to marinate the fish that are still in the pan. So I'll get my halloumi. So now we're getting our halloumi on. Make sure the pan is very, very hot. And in they go. So our halloumi is ready. It will look a little bit like this. So now we've got everything ready and it's time to assemble our wraps. So I'm not here to settle a debate about how to wrap these wraps. I'm just going to wrap it how I like it and how I make it secure. So let's get wrapping. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is put my mayo down there. I was going to add a little bit of chili into the mayo, but I realized that the wraps already have a bit of chili, so I'm not going to add more. So like I said, I'm not here to settle the wrapping debate. So what I like to do is I don't put anything down here. I like to put everything a little bit further up. And the next thing I add is the lettuce to create a nice comfy bed for the fish. And I will add the onions. Some people like them a bit fried off. I don't mind them either, so I can have them fried or raw, it doesn't matter. Bit of that carrot. I'm loving the colors here. Can't say the same about the weather at the moment. And now I will add maybe the halloumi. I love halloumi. I love it so much. Last but not least, we add the fish. You can keep it whole or you can shred it up. It's entirely up to you how you do that bit. So this dish is good because you can involve the kids. The whole family can be involved. So once 
that's done, wash my hands so I can give it a good wrap. So once that's done, I'll give it a good wrap. And I said I like to do it this way first. That way I will not have anything falling out of the wrap. And then bring this side in. And then bring this side in. That way it's like a little baby wrapped up in its blanket. So there we have it guys, our Bassa fillet wrap. You can pair this with a salad, with some chips, whatever you prefer, it's entirely fine. I'm going to have it as it is. So enjoy.